I like that. Sometimes you just roll out to the music. You know what I mean? You know? I get lost in it a little bit sometimes. I know, you know, you get your groove on, <laughs> you know? <laughs> all right. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> How are you all? Well, listen, welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Uh, it is a pleasure that I am sitting with our next guest, who is a Grammy-nominated singer, songwriter, and she also rose to fame with hips like, hits such as Brother, No More Rain, and guess what? I wish I didn't miss you. <laughs> <laughs> but along with the rest of our talents, you can also add actress to her list of credits as well. Please welcome my friend, the multi-talented Angie Stone. Yes! <laughs> hey, Angie! Oh, it is always good to see you. Likewise. Yes. Now I just got to run this resume, because I mean, you've been, you've been in the game for a long time mm -hmm. yes. and still mm -hmm. winning. Uh, 30 years in the game, right? 40. Two 40. All right, all right. I stand correctly. You want all yours, honey. Give, <laughs> give you an extra 10. Mm -hmm. So 40 years in the game, two gold albums, three Grammy nominations. How about that? Yes. All right? And you've done collaborations with Mary J. Blige, D'Angelo, and Stevie Wonder. Mm -hmm. My God. What is the key to your st staying power? I just think when you love what you do and you... Uh, you know what you want to do in life. Mm -hmm. You give it 100%. Yes, you do. And I was fortunate enough at 16 years old to know yes. the path that God would have me on. So, wow. yes. You go, girl. All right, but let, let's talk about that past, Ange. Yes. So, you were part of the group The Sequence. Yes. Mm. And you guys were actually the first real pioneering rap female group. You were Angie B back then. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and you and Blondie and Cheryl. But let me ask you this question. Do you really feel like you guys got the accolades that you should have gotten mm. as the first female absolutely, rap Absolutely. Absolutely not. Mm -hmm. And thank you for bringing mm -hmm. it up. That's so true. Uh, Sequence was the first female group to record mm -hmm. and actually open the floodgates for the Lauren Hills, the Queen mm -hmm. Latifah, the, they were always doing New York, but to be truthful, they were, we were 10 years older than they were. Mm -hmm. So we were 10 years ahead of their, light years ahead yeah. of the whole That funk you right up, you gonna funk you right on up, you gonna funk you right on up. It's synonymous to uptown funk you up. Oh, we don't need to go, I'm just saying. No, we're not, because that was my next question, because of course, no, seriously, so yeah. he sampled, Bruno Mars, there was a controversy surrounding uh, him sampling the sequence and what? never paying homage or giving credit to you. Well, you it's, guys it's, it, he that? never sampled it, he did an interpolation, okay. which is you re-record something and kind of twist it around, and he did give us accolades, okay. they just kind of got rid of it, mm. he uh, made a post in tweet, Twitter, years before, I mean months before, saying that his inspiration came from the sequence. Mm -hmm. okay. He also used a song called um, Let's Dance. When you hear that, mm, a jump on it, yeah. you know, that was a part of the sequence repertoire as well. Okay. So it was actually two songs in the song. Wow. Somebody... And he never came back, and I'm still waiting on them to at least admit, hey, we deserve this, because mm -hmm. about 10 people have gotten their checks and still I, waiting I, on them. <laughs> See, Angie, see, that's the thing with you and I. We, we just think alike. Because I was going to ask, where was the coin teacher? Did you get your, your coin purse Not together? Yet. Not yet. I'll be rich and famous one day. <laughs> oh, man, okay. Because, okay. At the same time, okay? <laughs> All right, you're good. already there, Angie. Mm -hmm. Let, let's get Absolutely. to Angie now, yes. Angie Stone. You know, your, your songs are about life mm -hmm. and about mm -hmm. love. Mm -hmm. And one of my favorites is Brother, because you yes. actually pay homage to the black man. Yes. And you know, you, you, you represent and you sing everything that they represent. Can you tell us how that song came to be and how it came to fruition? Absolutely. Uh, Raphael Sadiq, myself, and a guy named Harold Lilly mm -hmm. put our heads together and came up with Brother at a time, you know, which is still synonymous today, yes. that our men are demolished or diminished in who they are and their worth. Mm -hmm. And I was sick and tired of standing back watching mm -hmm. us start to bash each other because it became a fighting match of male against female, mm -hmm. black against black, and I just wasn't having it. So somebody had to stand the ground and say, hey, mm -hmm. time out for that. You are kings. We look up to you. Mm -hmm. Stop this foolishness. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be called that name. Mm -hmm. Right. And that was the purpose for the song. Well, I surely yeah. did love the love the song. It was Thank amazing. You. Very empowering. And Thank I tell you, you something, uh, uh, Reverend L. Sharpton, uh, Jesse Jackson, Farrakhan, 
all of them call Angie Stone when they when they have something big because that song empowers them. It does. Yes. It mm -hmm. absolutely does. Now you have two children. Mm -hmm. did, did they get the singing bug? Do they sing? Both my kids are very talented, but I encourage them mm -hmm. to have a backup plan because music is in their fiber. Mm -hmm. It's in their DNA. It's who they are. Mm -hmm. They will never lose that. Mm -hmm. So I don't want them to chase this dream because they see mom and dad have this dream. Right. I want them to have their own way. Right. So yes, Do I support them. To them. Stay away from the music industry. I don't tell them to stay away, but I okay. tell them to stay focused on other things yeah. because that's a part of who they are. Yeah, right. yeah. Well, you're you're segueing now, mm -hmm. you know, in doing television. You're doing a scripted show. Mm -hmm. Yes. So tell me, how do you think scripted shows differ from reality shows or mm -hmm. even doing plays and movies mm -hmm. like you've done before? Well, scripted shows are, are a lot easier because they are scripted, mm -hmm. because you get a chance to live with the character, you get a chance to redo. And the fun in not being you is the key for for me uh, doing uh, bounces in the cut mm -hmm. uh, along with Saints and Sinners both at the same time was challenging for me because I had to play two different characters but I love it because it is scripted and I can now plays television live stuff reality mm -hmm. is off the fly yeah, you sure don't is. get a chance to do over a play so mm -hmm. when you're in the moment You've got to stay in the moment, and when you lose the moment, you've got to find Ooh, a right. way to recover. Mm -hmm. And that's the professionalism that I've learned to deal with. And I know that you've already learned it because we're in the play together. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> and so, how, how does it feel? And you're, and you're doing amazing. With amazing. Oh, right you? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, so how, how did you prepare for this role that you're in now? Well, you know, it's it's always a preparation process of uh, just learning who you need to be. Mm -hmm. And for me, uh, being this character Miss Ann mm -hmm. is, is synonymous to having fun, mm -hmm. just being Angie. And I've been allowed that privilege and I'm grateful for it. Unlike you, who have to really, eh, <laughs> child back. <bye. laughs> <laughs> well, when we come back, we have more with Angie. She's gonna stick around with us and we're gonna talk a little bit more about the play that she and Trina are starring in. We'll be right back. <laughs> Yes. Uh -huh.